Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. As-salamu alaykum. What it do, what it do, man. This is the one and only Asher Carp, man. Bring you flame early in the morning. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop to work. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the league attorney, J.I. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, two off sports, two off TV, King with Mr. Miles, the LC Predator, Captain J.D. Black, Tariq she Dr. Umar Johnson. I shoot PK and you know I hold that thing down. Make sure you check out the crime content too, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Well, we all know. We always talk about. Well, uh, y'all always talk about LeBron James is the king and the greatest and all that. The all-time leading score. Man, they even got stuff on NBA 2K talking about uh, you can buy a package with the all-time score. Man, listen, don't nobody care about all that. If you play long enough, you're going to get all type of accomplishments. Accomplishments, You know what I'm saying? So that, that crap is out the way. <laughs> that crap is out the way, man. And you got so many. What my man called him? What my man called him? What's his name? Hold on. Let me look at my man's name. You call him Fanboy. Fanboy, fanboys. What's my man name? Uh, I think it's basketball uncut. But man, I'm telling you, man. LeBron got his fan base, and it's it's something serious, man. Sick and actually, actually, you know what I'm saying. They worship this man. Uh, you got people in 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 at the job be justifying LeBron James, and I'd be like, "Boy, if y'all just oh god, it's sickening." And it's like when you tell the truth about them, they get mad. Not that you make up lies. You tell the truth about them, they're like, "Okay, he won't be the never be the goat because he left his, he left Cleveland." The the the, the let Wade teach him how to win. And then, first of all, he lost his first NBA Finals in Miami. So, first of all, he went in 0-2 in the Finals going to Miami. You know what I'm saying? So, is it like, how? And then y'all disrespect Tim Duncan. I disrespect Kobe Bryant. Disrespect Larry Bird. And y'all just put LeBron James over all them great players I just heard. You know what I'm just named. I don't understand. I don't understand them. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. So, Warriors. Uh, ex uh, GM Bob Myers. He gave props to Curry. See, they don't even. Curry legacy is better than LeBron. Curry legacy way better than LeBron, man. He, he he didn't leave his squad or nothing. Kevin Durant, he didn't go ask for Kevin Durant. Now his teammate did, but he didn't go ask for Kevin Durant. And then on top of that, he won without Kevin Durant twice. So it's just like, ooh. How LeBron won without his team, his hand-picked team. The Warriors had to go through some struggles, man, before they found success. You know what I'm saying? But Bob Myers, man, front office, he said, he said this is about Steph. Steph never went to the front office putting pressure on them, talking about we need to make a trade, we need this, we need that. Unlike your king, tried to get Eric exposed to fire. Y'all remember that old crap? Talking about we need this, we need that in Cleveland, we need this, we need that. Got Andrew Wiggins up out of there. I guess everybody forget about that, didn't he? <laughs> everybody forget about that, didn't he? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. <laughs> but Bob Myers cooked, man. He cooked. He 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 made an epiphany why Steph is is is. Is, is greater than LeBron. <laughs> He's the GOAT in his generation.
Mm-mm-mm. But former Golden State Warrior President Bob Myers shot down rumors that superstar Stephen Curry forced the front office and certain decisions during the tension with his team. Steph Curry never me forced anything. It's just not his nature, Myers said, according to Tim uh, Kawakami of The Athletic. But he did, he wanted to be informed. Yeah, he deserved that. If anybody deserved it, it's him. Amongst every athlete I've ever encountered. Wow, wow, wow. But Myers currently serves as an NBA analysis for ESPN, appearing on NBA Countdown and appearance in October. He weighed in on James Harden trade cycle with his own perspective. However, the executive vehemently denied the rumors of Curry always being demanding. You might say there is no deserving knowing knowing what's going on in the organization that Steph Curry admires. Uh, but if you know him and think a lot of the fans do, uh, he is not a closet general manager. Unlike your boy. Man, they lose two games in a row, boy. The Lakers were to trade the whole damn squad. You let Cam Rich miss a couple more of them three. <laughs> it's just amazing to me how how dude got his fan base like at LeBron. Make it rewrite. They, they rewriting history. Forgetting about... Co- dude, how did they go straight to Mike? You, you, you shouldn't even be compared to Larry Bird, motherfucker. You don't lost... You know, one four and lost six NBA finals. First, he, they talk about well, he when he went, he, was, he went to ten straight finals. Let's talk about that. When you went to Cleveland, I mean, when you were Cleveland and you made the decision to go to Miami, you you, you weak in the East. You weak the East. You took Toronto. You took Chris Bosh from Toronto. What side did he play on? And you took yourself from Cleveland, and you went to Miami. What else is left in the East? At that time. Please tell me. I wish you would. That's why some of them games, some of them uh, years in Miami, man, they weren't even taking it hard going in the playoff, man. They weren't worried about having the best record, none of that, because it didn't matter. But you're weak in the East. But you claim, they claim, oh, so many final appearances. You had a hand picked team in Cleveland. <laughs> So I want to hear that. Then you go to the Lakers and trade up. Oh, man, Brandon Ingram, y'all my brother and all that old crap. And then you trade up the whole squad. You get AD. And he's street clothes like a mug, man. Maybe the karma coming back. But do you, Steph is the GOAT in this generation. I ain't going to say great, or great, greatest of all time, but he's the GOAT in this generation right here. It ain't you, LBJ. It ain't you, dog pound. I mean, you just you throw them emotions and feelings on out there, man. The NBA is like a Almost like WWF now, man. It's not even worth watching. And now it's just putting their own opinion on it. Chilling for you and all that old crap. It's not even worth watching sometimes. That's why the product is ugly. But in this generation, though, real talk, Steph, Steph is the GOAT. It is what it is at 4 and 2 versus 4 and 6. It's your boy Moose to do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.